A lot of you guys have been asking me to review a brand called Ralph Christian. So here we are finally with one of their most popular models, the Intrepid Chronograph. In this video, we're going to take a close look at this watch. I'm also going to share the ordering process, how long it took for the delivery, did I face any problems with the customs, the customs duty I had to pay, and last but not the least, whether this watch is a bang for your buck or not. Before we begin, let me tell you that I fell for this watch at first sight. This watch has a very close resemblance to the Richard Mill or the Frank Mueller, uh, both of which I'm a huge fan of. For those of you who are new to this channel, I have previously also reviewed a very similar looking watch like the Richard Mill. I had ordered that from AliExpress and it costed around 15 or 17 US dollars. So I will link that video somewhere here. You're free to go and check it out. And now let's get back into this video. So I first heard about Ralph Christian from many of you guys. I had not heard about the brand before that. Uh, also maybe because it was fairly new that time. So I went ahead, found out about the brand and checked out their website to see what kind of watches they make. And to be honest with you, I was quite impressed with their collection. So I went ahead and ordered one particular watch for myself, which I think stood out, which is their Interpret Chronograph. For sure, it's a very modern looking watch. So naturally it will attract a lot of attention. Ever since I bought this watch, I've received so many compliments and on a few occasions I've had people come up to me and ask me what watch I'm wearing, which is not very surprising to me given the fact how similar this watch looks to the Richard Mill or the Frank Miller Scaphander. And let me tell you that both of those watches retail for 20,000 US dollars and upwards. Talking about the price, I paid 210 US dollars including express shipping and customs duty which I prefer to pay along with the order itself just to avoid any hassle or delay in receiving the order. The shipping time was just about a week from their warehouse in Miami, Florida which I think was great. The watch came in a simple poly bubble bag and the box inside that which is here is also very simple, sturdy but nothing fancy I would say. Talking about the build quality, I think it's a very well made watch with high quality materials used. Finishing clearly shows that Ralph Christian has paid a lot of attention to detail here and has not tried to cut any corners whatsoever. In terms of the size, in case you're wondering, is 42.5 mm across the dial, then 50 mm is from top to bottom and the thickness is 13 mm. So overall, I don't think it's a very big looking watch. I feel it fits pretty well onto the wrist, especially with this black leather strap. You have an option of going for other rubber or silicone straps to give it more of a F1 slash sporty look. But in my opinion, I think the black leather strap going with this rose gold, you cannot go wrong with it. And uh, overall, I think it's a pretty cool looking watch. So now let's take a closer look at this watch. So here you can see there is a sapphire crystal glass, which is quite nice. Also the case is made of uh, brushed stainless steel, which I think looks great. As you can notice, the cut and finish of the case is really good. Uh, it's really nicely brushed, which I'm quite surprised by, especially given the price of the watch. So no sharp edges, very smooth, horizontal brushing here. So as you can see that this is the polished part, this is the brushed part, and overall it blends pretty well. One thing I appreciate about this watch is that all these three chronograph dials are all functional, uh, controlled by these push buttons here. Unlike some of the other fashion watches where they only give these chronograph dials as a show element. Now this particular model comes in two other colors as well, a red with a black dial and a blue with a silver dial. So the other good part about the watch is that it has a loom. So if you look at the dial at night, uh, it of course illuminates. Coming to the back, nothing fancy, it's just a snap-on stainless steel cover here. It says water resistant up to 5 ATM. Of course, you cannot go swimming with this watch or uh, take it out in the rain or anything. Uh, yeah, this is, this is a dressy watch, guys. You can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can wear it with your casuals or formals. It's a pretty versatile watch that way. All in all, I think it's a pretty interesting watch to look at, which is also quite eye-catchy. I love the overall styling, the build quality and the information that you've got displayed here in the dial. And I definitely think that this resembles a lot like the Richard Mill or the Frank Mueller. Be rest assured guys, wearing this watch is surely going to be pulling a lot of compliments. I'm quite enjoying wearing it so far and definitely I feel Ralph Christian has done a great job with this model. Overall I think it's a fun, affordable watch, you cannot go wrong with it. And if any of you is planning to buy this watch, 
it's a thumbs up from me so let me know what you guys think about this watch whether or not you like it and if any of you who already owns it also tell me if you are enjoying wearing it and what is your feedback so far so as always guys thanks for being here and i'll see you guys in the next video very soon